I want to give you some basic information here. Um, I have seen posts about this over and over again. Young women, old enough to be my daughter, girls that have mothers in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, and their moms have died in their sleep, and they're looking for answers. I want to give you some basic information here that I didn't even know a year ago when I was at risk. I've been prescribed numerous overdoses in the past, and these things became more dangerous for me. Um, as I uh, developed severe sleep apnea from a medication and I have asthma, even without those conditions, I want to give you some basic information. I want to tell you what I didn't know and up until two short years ago. If you know, if you have a loved one, it's often women that are passing away this way. If you have a loved one who's passed away in their sleep, you need to look at the pharmaceuticals they were taking. Um, you need to research. You, you just simply look up the medications and let's say you're taking Rapinerol. Simply look up, is Rapinerol a respiratory depressant? I'll tell you what a respiratory depressant is. It depresses your breathing. So it, it slows down your breathing. When you take one respiratory depressant, it slows down your brain activity, your heart and lungs, your, your nervous system. And respiratory depressants often, they are calm, not often, but they are calming, or if they're strong enough, they'll put you to sleep. So this, some respiratory depressants include anti-anxiety drugs, sleeping pills, painkillers, um, antihistamines, antipsychotics, some examples of uh, classifications would be benzodiazepines, uh, antipsychotics, anti uh, uh, barbiturates, Z drugs, um, and numerous drugs are, are uh, opioids. Numerous drugs are respiratory depressants. So you take one respiratory depressant and it slows everything down. If you're prescribed another, it slows everything down further. If you prescribed another, it slows everything down further. This means your heart rate slows down more, your, your breathing slows down more. On and on, you add uh, alcohol as a respiratory depressant, so you know, potentially you could be prescribed an anti-anxiety drug and a sleepy pill and have a couple drinks and not wake up. If, if you have other health conditions like asthma or sleep apnea, even if you don't know you have sleep apnea, taking a few respiratory depressants before bed can be dangerous. So let's, you're, let's say you're taking a sleeping pill to fall asleep. You're also in pain and you've been prescribed an opioid and you've got asthma. That alone can be a dangerous combination. Or you're taking a Z drug, Ambien or Zopaclone, and you're prescribed an anti-anxiety drug and you have one or two drinks before bed On and on, uh, other, this is the way that people overdose. 
deliberately or this is the way that people are are prescribed overdoses and i see this story happening again and again and this almost could have happened to me numerous times two years ago and this is still very alarming to me and triggering to me two years ago when i was in withdrawal from a drug that i took only as prescribed um I was in acute benzodiazepine withdrawal and I was on three medications, two benzodiazepines, clonazepam, lorazepam, and zopaclone, and I was taking zopaclone, a sleeping pill, and I was prescribed by three different doctors, gabapentin, an opioid, and one doctor gave me Repinerol. I don't believe I would have waken up, woken up after if I went, would have went home and taken those drugs as prescribed. There's numerous people that are passing away in their sleep. These are often women. And when this happens, it's tragic, it's horrific, but also the families are left confused and wondering what the heck happened. I believe that often the coroners are coming into the homes and labeling these deaths as accidental overdose, accidental drug interaction, potential suicide, um, unknown causes, natural causes, I don't believe that these deaths are ever being listed as prescribed overdoses. And I think many of these deaths are prescribed overdoses. I myself could have died here numerous times in many different ways because of the respiratory depressants. And I'll give you a few of those examples. When I was younger and prescribed Zopaclone and a benzodiazepine, prescribed to take these at night, I was never warned how deadly drinking with them could be. And we used to drink a lot when we were younger. And I have asthma. That could have finished me off hundreds of times, thousands of times. Another example is, you know, I was prescribed dangerous combinations of drugs and I had severe undiagnosed apnea, stopping breathing from obstructive apnea and partial central apnea and being prescribed a couple respiratory depressants was enough to make me pass away during, during my sleep. Even without those health issues, being prescribed, you know, I have been prescribed lorazepam, clonazepam, zopaclone, rupinerol, gabapentin and an opioid wait a minute is that that's terrifying lorazepam clonazepam zopaclone rupinerol opioids and gabapentin six different respiratory depressants at once that's terrifying i'm specifically making this video for people out there whose moms have passed away and they're looking for answers and this might be your answer it might not be natural causes it might not be you know I, 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 I was talking to one young woman who was being told that her mother suicided and she knew her mother wasn't in distress and not depressed and there was no note or, you know, accidental 